Hi, this is Theo from PuckerBlocks.com. I'm back from Bali, Indonesia. So I have a few videos coming up soon, but today I want to show you the things that I brought to Bali. This is my Bali packing list. And if you stay until the end of the video, you're going to see a time lapse of me sketching and coloring this particular sketch. But let me show you what are the things that I brought there. The main fountain pen that I used for sketching in Bali is the Sailor fountain pen with a zoom nib. So it's this one, it's this guy here. What I like about this pen is the strokes are very thick and if you tilt the pen upwards it can give you a thin stroke so you can get some sort of variation in your lines with this particular pen. But usually I would draw it um, like this to get a very thick stroke. So the sketches on these two pages are drawn with the sailor zoom nib. You can see that these lines here are very thick, very broad. And if you compare it to other fountain pens, this would be most probably a broad or a medium. I really like this pen. And the other pen that I brought along is the Pelican M200. The Pelican M200 is a pen that I usually bring along when I'm sketching because it has a large ink capacity here so you see, see this volume here this gap here is actually you can fill it up with ink but this in this trip on this trip i did not use this pen i only use it for one particular sketch and i realized that for some reason the ink skips on this paper this is archer's hot press paper and i want to talk about this sketchbook this is the sketchbook that was bound by the Society of Physical Disabled in Singapore. So if you bring your own watercolor paper to them, you can get them to bind it for, uh, for a fee. I got mine made with Archer's paper and this is hot press paper. And this is the first time I'm using Archer's hot press paper and also the first time I'm using hot press paper. And this is really good. I really like this because the quality is very good. It's like drawing on a cut, a piece of cut. It's very thick and it's 100% cotton, so it takes watercolor very, very well. I think it's a bit off-white. It's a there's a light cream color to the watercolor paper, but it takes watercolor very well and uh, colors appear very vibrant on this particular paper. So let's take a look at the next thing I brought: an ink bottle with noodleless ink. So some people say that noodleless ink is not waterproof. It depends on the paper you are using. Usually it's waterproof, um, but sometimes I test it. It's not waterproof on some paper. But so always be careful with noodleless ink. Always test it first. I brought along three watercolor sets to try out. It is only during sketching trips like this that I can comprehensively test out watercolor sets because if I were to do that, back home in, in, in Singapore. It's going to take me a few weeks to test these watercolor sets and before I come up with a review, I want to use the set for sketching purposes to actually use it in real life to use it in my sketches. So in this case, I brought along three sets. I use one set for each day and on the first day, I use the Van Gogh watercolor. This is a very good watercolor because it's affordable, relatively speaking, compared to artists great like Winston Newton, Schmink, or Sennelier. So this is slightly cheaper, but it's also more expensive compared to the student grades like the Cotman or the Schmink Acad Academia. But uh, in terms of pigment concentration, how well they mix, um, this sketch is actually colored with Van Gogh watercolor. So you can see here the colors are pretty vibrant and they mix quite well. The next set that I use on the second day is the Russian made White Knights. This is the box set. I bought this box set probably about a year ago. Used it a bit here and then but never uh, use it for a long sketching trip like this. So this time is a great opportunity for me to try this out and I made I made three spreads that is like six pages using this watercolor and this is the cheapest among all the sets that I brought. It's only like US $20 including shipping. I bought this on eBay and 
I'll say the colors are a bit chalky, but very intense. And if you want to buy this, I would actually recommend this uh, because it's very intense and it's well worth the money. Plus you get a lot of paint for $20 because each pen here is actually like a full pen. If you compare this to the Van Gogh set, you can see the pens here. These are actually small half pens and these are actually larger full pens. But the downside of this is these pens are not standard size. So if you want to replace the pens, you might have to I mean, scrape out the ink or finish using the ink before you squeeze your new watercolors into the pens. And the last set that I brought there is the Gansai Tanbi watercolor set. This is the Japanese set because a lot of people have requested that I review this set so I brought this along I use this to color six pages mm, this is a nice set yep definitely nice I bought this specific set because of this uh, this palette box usually if you were to go online and look for Gansai Tambi they will sell the watercolor palettes in the larger pen size this is actually quite a large pen size if you compare this to this, you can see that this is about two times the size and this is this is a pen that is not standard size so if you want to replace it, same thing I'll say well scrape out the color or finish using the colors because these pens, empty pens like this are very difficult to find and if you can actually find them, post a comment in the comment section I would love to know where you buy them but when you are buying other sets, other Gansai Tambi sets, well they are likely to come in full pen sizes. This is actually their half pen size. So their full pen size will be something like this, which is uh, huge, very, very huge. And if I use my watercolor brush like this, I can pick up a lot of pigment. So this large pen is very good for creating large washes as compared to pens like this, which is a bit smaller. It, um, it's more difficult to pick up pigments compared to a pen that is this big. As for the quality, well, um, they are more pastel-like. I mean, the colors are more are lighter, not as intense compared to White Knights and Van Gogh. And when it mix the colors, they also appear a bit uh, pastel-like. That means the colors are a bit... Um, not as intense. Anyway, I will review these three sets of watercolors separately because they deserve to have a separate review each. Let's see what else that I bring. A small glass bottle for washing my brush. Clips for clipping down the sketchbook, very important. Rosemary pocket watercolor brush. That's uh, this brush, very nice, very small and compact. This is a size 6. Rosemary sells a lot of um, pocket brushes with different types of head. Let's take a look at some of the things that are not related to sketching at all. A water bottle, a portable stew, toothpaste, toothbrush. Oh, that place that I stayed at, which is called Loka Sari Bungalows. Washing powder, just in case. Passport, driving license. iPad Pro, just to check the internet and make sure, uh, and also to check the itinerary. HTC M8, oh, when you are driving in Bali, make sure you get, make sure you bring a phone and make sure that your phone's battery can last the whole day because you don't want to drive halfway to realize that your battery died on you but you won't get lost you just have to wind down your window and ask people around while you're driving um, three sets of clothes t-shirt bermudas and underwear the underwear is well sometimes when i draw the underwear in and in the next trip when i did not draw the underwear in people would say hey did you not bring any underwear for that trip so this time i i brought underwear back the hat wet wipes wet wipes are incredibly useful because Bali is a hot tropical uh, area so you sweat a lot wet wipes are very very useful 
This is a small tin box with some medicine, extra clips, new clipper. This is my camera, the Panasonic GH4, and a microphone so that I can record voice. This is the Sennheiser MKE 400. And lastly, a travel adapter to charge my iPad and also my phone. So I actually did not bring a lot of stuff compared to my friends Don Lu and Catherine. They brought two suitcases full of items. So these are actually all the things that I brought. And I can pack them all in into a very small backpack. So those are the things that I brought to Bali. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. And if this is the first time you're watching a video from me, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more sketching tips, techniques, art product reviews, and sketching videos. Bye, see you in the next video.